All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is uh, The Biggest Ship Collisions and Mistakes Caught on Camera. All right. <laughs> Guys, I do not mess with large quantities of water. I don't like ships mm -mm. or cruises. Uh, it's too... Nope. You look out and all you see is water. I can't stand it. <laughs> That's not for me, bro. Shipwrecks occur because of mechanical problems, massive storms, human mistakes, or just someone's stupidity. Wow, In this video, bro. we will show you unbelievable moments at sea, and you'll see many big terrifying accidents from the sailor's own eyes. Ready to set sail? Let's dive in. Right, let's this dramatic footage oh, shows the one. ball carrier Arvin oh. breaking in the Black Sea off the Turkish coast. Watch as the vessel battles waves, leading to the catastrophic split in half of the entire ship with screams and chaos Jeez. on board. Go ahead. Right here. Yep. Imagine. Imagine. Like, like, bro, what do you even do in this scenario? <laughs> Leak. Like, how did that ship even get cleared to, like, exit port? Footage taken by the Japanese Coast Guard shows a Chinese fishing boat first colliding with the Japanese patrol boat. The fortress? And as if that wasn't enough already, the fishing boat also starts ramming into its side, causing black smoke to rise from its stern. Why? All right, bro, All right, listen, listen, this is purposely dumb. Next, yeah, guys, that looks like an international incident right there, guys. Up is a huge icebreaker showcasing its mighty power as it easily destroys and glides through the frozen Yenisei River in Russia. I've always been astonished by these icebreakers, though. That's ingenuity right there, guys. Because of a powerful collision with ice on the ship's hull, this large fishing trawler's side ruptured, resulting in water flooding inside and sinking the ship in only a couple of minutes. There were more than 90 crew members on board the ship, but thanks to the brave rescue team, all of them were saved in time. All right, all right, good. I definitely don't want to see any, any like, uh, expiration of human life, guys, right? So, good. Either the bridge was very fragile or the container ship was extremely heavy. Both. Both. Yeah, both, bro. Both. Have you ever wondered how it feels to be at sea during a tsunami? Well, the Japanese No. Japanese Coast Guard released this video showing just that, as massive tsunami waves can be seen swelling in the sea off the coast of northern Japan following the 9.0 magnitude earthquake that struck offshore in 2011. <laughs> It's incredible. To be honest, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but. Incredible how leveled and calm an aircraft carrier looks while sailing through the same waves that are thrashing a destroyer. <laughs> this is size. Just imagine the Vikings and pirates of the old days with their wooden ships and the brave men who rode in the same weather conditions. These fishermen were extremely close to getting caught by a massive wave, but thanks to their fast thinking and teamwork, they managed to use their body weight to save their own lives. You guys are good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Other side. Okay. You're gonna 
touch, bro. I think the captain of this Japanese Coast Guard patrol boat isn't working there anymore after this expensive mistake. Right. And Guys, that's the second time we've seen Japan on this list here. All right. There, there may be some issues. And this Japanese patrol vessel with a length of 80 okay. meters decided it was no problem departing in the midst of a big storm, but the look of it says otherwise. It takes about 15 months to build an oil tanker, but only a bunch of giant rollers in a couple of seconds to launch it. And I love looking at these mega projects. But I'd never get on it. Ever. This horrifying footage was taken at the Kuji port in Japan during the big tsunami in 2011. The waves can be seen growing as they come closer and closer, and some fishing boats can be seen still in the water, probably completely Those unaware waves. of the massive waves heading in their direction. Oh! And this Guys, the Earth does not like us. ...ship found itself roughly 15 nautical miles away from the shore when it unexpectedly encountered the same massive tsunami just moments before it caused the devastating disaster. And the inventors of the water-propelled jet foil just threw out the idea of a boat being in the water and decided it should be traveling above it. Probably move faster like that. And this anchor drop goes terribly wrong. Too fast. Too fast. Way too fast. Here's another terrifying moment when a U.S. Navy ship loses both its chain and anchor, making it 104 tons that were lost to the ocean floor. And this anchor needs to sort his attitude. Here's some footage of a massive 336-meter cargo ship colliding with one of the biggest shipping container ports in India that had just completed its construction. Does it break it? I think I know that. I think that probably goes to show exactly how strong and powerful. Uh, these ships actually are. Yeah, they, it broke through this concrete, guys. Are you serious right now, bro? In this footage, it seems both captains were expecting to do something from each other, resulting in both doing nothing. Oh, that's leaking water now, bro. Congratulations. Thankfully, nobody was injured, but the people on this yacht should seriously consider changing their profession after they somehow missed that a super tanker was heading their direction. Oh, the mass is broken. Luckily, there were other boats around that actually saw this happening, and they could be like, okay, let's go ahead and uh, tow you to, to port, bro. You're done. 
sail or surf? Well, why not do both? They're, and they're these men. Yeah, those boats specifically. These. Like, I watch a couple of YouTube channels where people uh, own these boats and they go around literally the entire planet uh, in these boats and they make, like, YouTube content uh, about it. I think these, whatever these are called, are extremely functional. Like if, and if these had, men. If you had one choice, get one of those. Must be some of the bravest to ever exist as they willingly go out into the angry sea. Oh, yeah. Bravest humans on the planet. Navy men and, and sailors. Wouldn't be me. But that's, that's pure bravery right there. Would you dare to do this? No. Let us know in the comments. No, <laughs> at all. Here's the exact reason why tugboats are needed. How does this even happen? Like, how a storm that was a bit too big for this container ship caused its 150 units to collapse. And as you can see, it was a struggle to try and save them. Here's what happens when you leave the apprentice alone for three minutes. person just lost their job because the lock securing the container to this trailer is not released in time the whole truck gets lifted with it like you don't recognize that you're lifting the gently put it have you ever seen a vacuum implosion and here's why you should never over Why? And here's why you should never overload a barge with an unbalanced load. Due to an engine failure at the worst moment, the Spanish cargo ship Luna was steered by incredibly harsh weather off the French coast and eventually got split in half. When a guy left his cell phone on the bus, his pal tried to bring it to him, but the cruise ship was already pulling away. That's when he came up with a great idea of throwing it to his balcony. Oh, that's going straight into the water, bro. Oh, and here's the I mean, bro, what did you think was going to happen? All right. Seriously. The moment a cargo ship collided with a dock. Third time. Third time. Wow. I don't think hit and run is the safest way to let go of a mooring buoy anchor chain. <laughs> oh, 
In 2020, the huge tanker Stella Banner grounded, tilting heavily into the water. The crew was evacuated and the vessel was refloated for the salvage team to remove 3,500 tons of fuel oil and 270,000 tons of iron ore cargo. However, it was later determined that the ship couldn't be repaired, leading to its intentional sinking and a spectacular sight. I wonder how much, much, much of like trash that we have created us, our human filth is in the bottom of the ocean for incidents like this. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. This is yeah. why you should avoid taking your $39 million super yacht into bad weather, because if it suffers a mechanical failure, you are doomed. In this footage, you can see how it's floating on its side and on the verge of sinking off the coast of Greece. Luckily, a rescue team managed to reach them in time and save their lives. If you're gonna surf, make sure to do it on a surfboard and not inside a fishing boat. Oh. Luckily, they were all saved thanks to the surrounding boats rushing to their rescue. The worst thing that can happen while you're sailing isn't just bad weather, it's also being approached by real-life pirates. Thankfully, he managed to scare them away peacefully and no one was harmed. In 2019, the CSL Virginia container ship was hit by the ferry Ulysses. Why, you may ask? Well, do you see all of the space that surrounds the ship? So what you're saying is you purposely drove into the ship. That's what it looks like, bro. Sorry. Look at all of the space. All because the captain of the ferry was busy talking on his phone. The accident caused it to spill thick crude oil that washed up on nearby beaches and took five days until they managed to separate the two ships and cost billions of dollars in damage. That's ridiculous. In 2018, a real royal battle took place off the coast of Normandy as 40 French trawlers attacked the British scallop catching competition in the English Channel. The British have the right to catch shellfish in this area, but according to the French, they are violating all the rules and regulations and that they are working seven days a week scraping everything clean. At the end of August, the fishermen started throwing rocks, smoke bombs, and even shooting flares at each other. No one was injured, but the defeated Brits returned home with broken windows as a result. Later, the French government threatened to involve military courts to resolve the dispute. But in turn, the British referred to the actions of the French as just some good old ordinary piracy. <laughs> if you yeah, bro. I mean, yeah. Guys, so I live in Europe half the year, right? So I only really encounter uh, British people, specifically in Spain. And the way they talk about the French is wild. Okay. I don't think they like each other. There's something deep. It's deeply rooted. They, they truthfully just do... They, they detest each other. You're on a lovely cruise. Don't be this guy. Bro, hey, please put hey, some hey, pants on right now. What do you think you're doing? Just stop. Just stop. Sir. You're over here. Don't click off yet. If you love our video, <laughs> subscribe now and hit that bell. And wait, oh there's my. more videos for you right here on the screen. Just <sighs> click on the one that grabbed your interest and enjoy. Well, both of them are kind of interesting. But okay, so listen. Here's the thing, okay. Um, I definitely, seriously hope that some of the the ship drivers, captains, the, some of the captains of these ships are, are no longer working. Like specifically the ones who drove onto the dock, right? Like or through the dock with their gigantic cargo ships, or the person who was on his phone, and uh, with all of the space in the ocean, humanly possible, you hit the one thing you shouldn't have hit: an oil tanker. Then, then the oil tanker obviously starts to leak into the ocean. Right? Uh, everything about uh, the majority of these videos were pure human error. That's it.
I'm mm. glad no one lost their lives, guys, right? You know, good old harm, harmless fun, right? <laughs> but all right, listen, uh, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly.